Well, good morning and welcome to Move Early, Move Often. I'm uh, Blake Martin and my co-host is on vacation, Thomas Caracolis. And uh, it's kind of a gloomy morning. And, uh, you know, if you're like me on some of these uh, kind of the time between uh, Christmas and New Year's, that time of year can just be slow going. You're just dragging, you're laying around the house. You don't want to do much. The great thing is that uh, we can still move. We can do uh, great movement without doing a whole lot. And some of the movement we can do can be really important. Uh, you're going to need an exercise mat and you're going to need a chair. Uh, you can actually do this uh, on your couch as well. Uh, so this is great. You can do it in bed. And uh, so it's also great for that. So uh, without any further ado, we're going to get started. What we're going to be doing today is uh, a kind of stretching called pandiculation. Pandiculation is the kind of stretching that you see animals do. So what they will do is they don't really like you don't see a, 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 you know, a cat kind of sticking its leg up to get more flexible. It does it just to lick its butt. So, uh, but uh, I'm not recommending butt licking here, but I am recommending uh, the kind of stretching that animals do, just that kind of nice expansive stretching. There are actual uh, entire schools of thought and theories on how to pandiculate correctly, and I'm not going to follow any of them here. I'm going to give you a kind of a general um, basic no bones guide to pandiculation. So without any further ado, I've said that twice now, so it was with further ado, but we're going to get started anyways. I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to get on my mat. And, uh, the great thing about pandiculating is you really don't have to warm up at all. You just kind of, kind of get there and you kind of lay on your mat. And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and stretch our arms up. And on the inhale, we're gonna kind of hold the inhale, like a yawn, and then we're gonna melt on the exhale. Yeah. So I want you to do that again. Tense up your whole body, inhale, and stretch. Just push everything out like you're gonna yawn. Give me your grimacy face, and then just kind of, Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Like you're gonna yawn. And tense up your body. Extend your toes. You can even lift your heels off the mat. And melt. Let's flip over. Go face down. Let's kinda just kinda take it easy. You don't have to flip over too quickly. And this is going to get a slightly different aspect of your body. We're going to pandiculate face down. And what I want you to do is again, big inhale, and press outward, lift your toes off the mat, tense, and exhale, and melt down. We're going to do that three times total. Oh my gosh. Inhale. If you make grunty sounds, it's really fantastic. Oh, I just kind of let everything go down. Oh. One more time. Inhale. Like you're going to yawn. And exhale. Melting. Really focus on letting everything melt. Just melting down. Now, if I were in bed, I just swing my legs over the edge of the bed and uh, I'd be sitting there, but I'm not in bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my chair here and we're going to, now we're, we're just doing it in a slightly different orientation. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to inhale. We're going to push our hands down with, in, with, the, with the hold. And then we're going to melt, really just let everything just kind of melt down. So inhale. Oh, my legs are extending too. I'm pointing my toes. You don't have to, but it's really nice. And exhale and melting down. Let's do that again. Inhale. That 
kind of yawny feeling. If you yawn, that's all right. <sighs> Melting. One more time. Inhale. I'm spreading my fingers this time. You can spread your fingers too. And exhale. Now we're going to do, we're going to do rotational movement, one arm forward, one arm back. All right, and we'll do two times on each side. So you're going to stretch forward and back. Inhale. And melt. Other side. Your arms might want to rotate or corkscrew in different directions and just let that happen. This is the awesome part about pendiculation and melting. There's no perfect technique except for the inhale. The held gesture. The exhale. And then melting. One last time, I'm doing my left arm forward. And finally, we're gonna stand. I'm gonna put my chair off to the side here. There's some other things that I might do before getting up first thing in the morning. We'll talk about that another time, maybe on a functional Friday. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do the kind of pendiculation that you get when you just get out of bed. Stretch way back. So I'm arching my back and pulling, like I'm trying to pull down the sky and melting. Again, just overhead opening out. Exhale and release down, melting. One more time. Oh, and exhale and melt. All right, bonus for your shoulders today. If you've been working at the computer over the break between the 25th and the 1st, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our shoulders right up to our ears. And we're gonna really try to smoothly let them melt down. Now you'll notice I lifted up my chin when I was doing that. I was conscious of that too. I'm gonna try and keep my spine neutral and keep my, tit, my chin just slightly tucked and down so that I'm not giving in to that tendency to take my head back like a T-Rex, okay? So let's do that together. Big inhale. Clench up near your ears. And exhale. Release down. On the melting. Notice if there's little jumps on the melting with your shoulders. What you want to do is you want it to go down smoothly. So let's do it again. Inhale. Clench. Exhale and melt. And on the melting, did you notice? Now it's hard to pay attention to both sides at a time, at the same time. So focus on one side or the other and just pay attention to that side jumps. So let's think about the left first. Thinking about my left, but doing both. Oh, there was a jump there, definitely. Try one more time on the same side, see if you can eliminate the jump. And melt, melting, 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 melting. Well, that was better, more smooth. Okay, focus on the right this time. And melting. Try to be smooth. Oh, there was a big jump. And another one. Oh, and another one. Uh, I, I got, obviously I've got some work to do on my right side. And my physiotherapist would say the same thing. Inhale. 
and melting. All right, now let's just stand balanced on our two feet. Shift your weight from side to side and find the point in the center where your body is perfectly aligned, your weight centered over your two feet. And then forward and back, just rock forward and back. I like to close my eyes so I can really focus on the sensation in my feet. I'm trying to have a neutral spine. My ears are over my shoulders. My shoulders over my hips, my hips over my knees, and my knees trying to find that perfect spot over my ankle. There I am. Inhale and just exhale. Feel the sense of wellness, calm in your body. We've just put a little bit of life into it. We've Unstuck a little bit of the fascia. Just feel how that feels. Beautiful. That's awesome. You've given yourself the gift of pandiculation this morning. And uh, already you've moved. You've moved early. And so I hope you remember to move often throughout your day. Hope you have a really good day. And we'll see you tomorrow.